you're looking to get a mortgage, you're dealing with a lender and you've got some concerns that this lender may be shady or gonna rip you off or give you a bad deal. In this video, I'm gonna break down signs that will absolutely tell you if you're working with the wrong lender. But first. So you've been dealing with this loan officer, right? Not getting the warm and fuzzies with them and you've got some concerns. Here are some signs that you are definitely not working with a good loan officer who is also probably gonna rip you off when it comes to rates and fees and all of that. And these are signs to look for. Number one is they don't send you an estimate. They just kind of talk to you about rates and well, it depends on your credit score and rates of the day and your down payment and all that. That's true, but they can definitely give you estimates and they should be giving you estimates going into it. So if they don't, that's concerning. Number two is waiting to lock your rate. Hey, let's wait. Wait until, until you're, you're closer, closer to closing, to closing and, and then, then we'll, we'll look at locking the rate. rate. Maybe rates will be better, right? Or some shenanigans along those lines. What they're doing is floating the rate. They're not locking it. Very risky because what happens if rates get worse, you're going to get a worse rate. But here's the real trick on why they do it. If they tell you what the rate is right before closing, you don't have an option to switch lenders at that point. You're up against the wall. You have a closing coming up. You don't want to miss that closing. You can't risk it. So you end up taking a higher rate because they know you can't shop. I've seen this tactic used by many, many lenders and you want to completely run from them because the short answer is now your rate is going to be out of your control and the cost of that rate. Number three is being busy. Hey, I'm real busy, but here's what your rate is going to be roughly. You know, or here's what the numbers are roughly. I'm real busy. I don't have time to go over the estimates with you. That's concerning. They should be going over the estimates with you. And that's shenanigans. Like you can't be that busy. I'm in the top 1% of loan officers nationally. And I talk to all my clients on their files, proper customer service, answer people's questions. If you have questions and you're getting blown off or passed off to somebody else on their team, who doesn't answer the question, you need to look to work with a different lender. And here's the last one, and maybe the biggest one, is not going over all of your options. Hey, you're pre-approved, here's an estimate for an FHA loan. Well, can I get a conventional loan? I would like to see those estimates. What are the pros and cons of both? Definitely dig into it. Hey, I wanna see all these things before I make a decision. So that right there is all of the signs that you're definitely dealing with a shady lender. You're probably gonna get screwed later on either in a worse rate or higher fees. And if you you see any of these signs run right away and give me a shout thanks guys I hope you found this information helpful if you did I'd love to be your lender and stick around for this next video I think you're gonna like it